Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry it has been so long since my last video. I've been busy ripping down my shop. Um, it's kind of a sad news story actually. I, I no longer have a shop. It's completely gone. We are doing an addition to our house. So I'm going to be pretty quiet on YouTube. Sorry about that. Harmonic distortion is one of those things people talk a lot about, but not all of it is completely based in science or people don't totally know what they're talking about when they talk about harmonic distortion. One of the things we do hear that is actually sort of true is that second order harmonic distortion is bad and third order is really bad. There is some truth to that. And in one of my previous test videos, I think it was on the ViaWave Tweeter, I actually kind of gave a bit of a dis demonstration using a good old fashioned guitar. And people in that video commented on that and they really appreciated the demonstration. Okay, I've just turned up my mic volume to help with this. Uh, the first thing I do is I play a fundamental note. Now, guitars have harmonics on them, so this isn't a perfect example, but I'm going to start with the A note, which is 110 hertz if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now I'm going to play the second order of harmonic which is a doubling of the frequency, so 220 hertz, and that is still an A note. So when you double the frequency, you're just going up an octave. So there's the two overlaid. Now third order harmonic is going to be three times the fundamental, so that's 330 hertz, and that is going to be our ninth fret right here. Can you hear how much more, th sorry, you can't see my guitar. So there's the A, there's the octave above A, and here's So that third order harmonic just sounds a little more out there. It's higher in frequency, so it stands out a little more. It's also not the same note, it's not an A. It's a, it's an E. No. Yes. So that's generally why people say it's more objectionable is because it stands out a little more, we hear it a little more. In fact, some people go so far as to say when it comes to tube amplifiers and stuff that second order harmonic distortion is actually pleasing. But that's a musical thing, that's not a reproduction thing, so I disagree with that mentality. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll play the first, the fundamental and the second order harmonic I'll reduce the second order harmonic by 30 dB. And the reason I'm going to do this for you is a lot of people will say, if your distortion is down from the fundamental X decibels, then you're okay. Okay, so they'll say, if it's 30 dB down, you won't hear it. Or if it's 40 dB down, you'll be fine. Or so on. So let's do that with the second order harmonic distortion now. Now let's do the same thing with the third order harmonic. Now let's try 40 dB down, second order harmonic. 40 dB down, third order harmonic. So possibly through this demonstration you've kind of seen how third order, third order harmonic distortion can sound a little more noticeable, a little more objectionable than second order harmonics, and hopefully you just understand distortion in general a little better. Just before closing the video, I'm also going to show you the same sequence of fundamental second order and third order using just a little lower frequency. We're going to use the E note. This is about 80, I think technically 82 hertz. That's the second order. And then the third. See how that sticks out a little more? Thanks for checking me out guys and um, hopefully this video has been helpful. And if you did want to see that ViaWave tweeter um, test video, it's a great video, great tweeter, check it out here. 
And also, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other crap that uh, YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their video. Thanks.